So future value is equal to present value, one plus i times by n. And let's just again remind ourselves what everything means. This is the future value. This is the present value or the principal. This is the interest, more specifically the simple interest. And this is the number of periods the loan is held. Right, so let's do some examples. So we have a 550,000 Rand loan at a simple interest rate of 12% per annum. Then we ask, what is the total amount to be repaid after 20 years? So we're looking for the future value. So let's first write down the formula. So the formula is the future value is equal to the present value multiplied by 1 plus i times by n. And in this case, our future value, the thing we're looking for, is also the subject of the formula, so we don't have to make any changes here. We can just plug and play kind of situation. Now we need to check if what we plug in in is in the correct note, um, units. So first up, we have a 550,000 Rand loan. So that is the present value, right? And we can say, okay, the present value is equal to 550,000. Then it's at a simple interest rate. And the simple interest rate tells us that we can use the simple interest rate formula, which is the formula that we wrote down over here, at 12% per annum. So the per annum is important to know because when we're working out our N, our N has to, you know, coincide with our interest, particularly in regards to the simple interest rate. So we have that it's per annum, which means our N should be in years. And then our I, that is 12%. Or 0.12. So I've just divided it by 100. Okay, so we don't have to make any weird changes between normal and effective interest rates or anything like that yet. It's just, you know, kind of a quick, easy example. And our N in this case, we want it after 20 years. So just a reminder, the reason why I first look at N and I together is because those should coincide. Right, so let's actually plug this into the formula. So if you put this into the formula, we're going to have the future value is equal to 550,000 multiplied by 1 plus 0.12 times by 20. And that is going to give us. 1870000. Zero, 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 zero. So it's quite a large loan amount that you're going to have to pay back at the end of 20 years because we're assuming that there's no payments, repayments happening in between. So at the very end, you have 1,870,000 Rand to pay back for this loan. Okay. And this is a new example. And this example is actually going to discuss the situation where I said we have to check that the time periods and the interest coincide. So this one is invest at 18,000 for 32 months at a simple interest rate of 9% per annum. What is the value of the investment at the end? So again, it's simple interest. So again, we have the formula FV is equal to PV one plus I times N. And Again, we are trying to find the value of the investment at the end, so the formula is exactly in the correct um, way with the future value being the subject of the formula. Next up, we're going to look at what information do we have and is it in the right units? So we're going to invest 18,000. So the present value is 18,000. Then we have N is currently in months.
so we noted that it's in months, it's 32 months, but it's at a simple interest rate of 9% per annum. So our I, and I don't want to use the big I, it's the small I, let me just fix that. So our I is equal to 9% per annum. And now you'll notice that this is per annum and this is in months. So they need to coincide. So we can switch the 32 months to a year representation. How do we do that? Well, how many months in a year? Here's 12 of them. So we can say 32 divided by 12. And that's going to be our N in terms of years. And we can also rewrite this interest in the decimal fraction notation of 0 0.09. Now we have all the information. So let's just write N in green clearer. It's 32 divided by 12, which is eight and a third years. If you want to simplify it, you don't have to simplify it. Now we have all the information. All the information coincides with the formula and the units that we require. We can now put it in. So we have our future value is equal to, and that's 18,000 times by 1 plus 0 0.09 times by 8 over 3. And now we can just go ahead and put that in our calculator. And if we do that, we're going to get 22,320 rand. So at the end of the investment period, you would get 22,320 rand out. And how much do you actually like earn overall? Like what was the interest that you earned? Well, you said 22,320 minus the 18. So the total interest for that period was 4,320. So that's essentially what you made. Okay, so here we have another example, and this example again is going to point out the importance of matching your interest rate units with the period units. So we have a loan of 13,000 at a simple interest rate of 3% per month for 10 years, and we ask for what is the future value of the loan. So it's a simple interest. So the formula for simple interest is future value is equal to the present value, one plus I times N. And now we're going to be like, okay, what are we looking for? We're looking for the future value. The future value happens to be the subject of the formula, so we don't have to change anything to the formula here. We can just move straight on. Next, let's see what do we have? What information do we have? So we have a loan of 13,000. So we have a present value of 13,000. We have a simple interest rate of 3% per month. So we have I year is equal to 3% per month, which is equal to 0 0.03. Now, technically, when we represent in I, we can actually represent I in terms of saying what the periods are. So instead of just saying I by itself there, we could actually say that it's I 12 is equal to 0 0.03. So that's telling us straight away that it is monthly. So that's just like a neat little thing to remember. And this is gonna come in more handy when you get to compounding interest and so on. So the interest, simple interest year is 3% per month, which is 0 0.03. We can represent that as I subscript 12. So the 12 is representing that it's actually per month. And that's just gonna remind you that when you do your N, your N should be in months. And then we're going to look at our N here. So our N year is 10 years. So right now it does not coincide with the interest. So you would see that does that's months and that's years. It doesn't coincide. Or if you write it out with the I subscript, you would also see it doesn't coincide there either. So if the interest were per annum, we would have I subscript one. So what we're going to do, we're just going to convert N into months. So that would just be 10 times by 12. And that's going to give us 120 months. Right. Now we can just put it into the formula. 
So we have our future value is equal to 13,000 brackets, 1 plus 0 0.03 times by 120. And that's going to give us 59,800. So 59,800 Rand. Right. We could work out what the total interest that we would have to pay for the loan. And that's just going to be the 59,800 Rand minus 13,000. So the total interest. So how much it actually cost us, you know, to take out this loan and use that money is 46,800 Rand. Is, and we ask for what 